Hi everyone, so we here. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are stopping here for the first time, you are very welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thumbs up for you. So this is a beautiful bridal makeup we are going for Nigerian bridal makeup. So stay tuned and watch. First thing first, I go in with Kiss Beauty Setting Spray to set her face. And next, I go in with Set Her Face Moisturizer to moisturize her face. And then I go in with V Beauty Primer to prep her face. Primer is for a smooth and long lasting makeup, okay? So make sure you use primer, especially when doing a brighter makeup. And then I go in with ZK Sweat Block, okay? This period, people sweat a lot especially for a bride make sure you use sweat block and allow it to dry before applying foundation when you apply sweat block allow it to dry before you start foundation application okay so this my model has a big birthmark on her forehead down to her face and I'm shocked to see that this foundation covered so well. Look at it. As in, it blend evenly together. And I'm so happy to see the outcome of it. It makes me so proud. I'm so, so happy to see that the birthmark is not showing. But I'm so happy. So to highlight the under eye, I go in with the K Skin Fit Concealer in the shade 03. And then I go in with second skin concealer, ZK second skin concealer in the shade nude to also highlight the under eye and mix the two. One shade is lighter than the other one, so so it will blend evenly together. And for foundation application, if you are using a beauty blender, your beauty blender must be done, okay? And then I go in with the K stick foundation to contour her nose. I so much love this foundation. Like, I love it so much. Since, I, I think I'm obsessed with it. Uh, that's just the word for it. I'm so, I'm obsessed with it. My mother already has a very fine nose. Look at how pointed her nose is looking. As in, her nose is so beautiful. To contour her cheekbone, I go in with the K Second Skin Concealer in the shade Sexy Blackie to add shadow to the cheek. And then I use the same beauty blender I used in blending her foundation, okay? To set her under eyes, I go in with the K Powder Palette to set her under eye. And the brushes I use today is Nuban Beauty Brushes. I also use the K brushes okay to reverse contour i go in with the case setting powder to reverse contour and also set her under eyes okay this process is very important because it will make your makeup last all day to you'll be looking flawless and it will reduce the excess oil on your face okay so make sure you always set your face all right with setting powder moving on to the brows i go in with age control gel to keep the hair in place all right when you apply the gel on your brows allow it to dry in fact use your hand or the spoolie brush there to press it so the hair stick in one place to line the brows, I go in with Davis number no. 3 eyebrow pencil to line the brows, alright? So you don't need to do a very dramatic brows or a very dark brows for a bride. Just line it and make it look beautiful and nice, alright? So that's the word for it. 
So to fill in, just fill in the area where there is no hair. Okay? Just fill in the area where there is no hair. You don't need to do so much for a bridal makeup, but make the bride look so beautiful. Use neutral colors. Everything should be neutral, if that makes sense. So to highlight the brows with concealer, I go in with DK Skin Fit Concealer in the shade 03 to highlight her brows. And then I go in with, excuse me, angle brush from DK Cosmetics to highlight her brows with concealer. Okay? So take your time when it comes to brows, alright? brows you need you don't need to rush take your time and there is this one advice for you when you are doing bridal makeup make sure you discuss with your bride okay and your bride will give you at least one hour 30 minutes in fact two hours don't rush because when you are rushing it looks as if you don't know what you are doing so always talk to your bride at least two hours to do makeup let it be like you finish before that time and you take your time because it's not good to rush work especially makeup for a bride don't rush it okay you need to take your time you don't need to rush all right don't rush it take your time so moving on to the eyeshadow the eyeshadow palette we use today is TK Cosmetics, but I forgot the name. It's not real, so I forgot the name of this eyeshadow, but I will list it down my description box. Make sure you use neutral colors. I use two eyeshadow here. I use Elegue Pro Concealer eyeshadow, and I use ZK, but I will list all the products I use down my description box, okay? So to line her one her waterline, I go in with Zaron eye and uh, eyeliner is a pencil. Then to line her top liner, I go in with Zaron liquid liner. Then the lipstick we use we use today is Girl Cosmetics, and we also use two decay lip glosses, the dark one and the the pink. I forgot the shade, but I will also list them down my description box, okay? So to add color to the makeup, I go in with ZK, the same uh, eyeshadow palette I use to add color to the cheek, like blush, alright? I use the eyeshadow as blush. Because I like the, the shades, I like the colors, they are so popping. Then to, to highlight, I go in with DK Bake, what's the name? Bake Highlighter to highlight. And then her under eyes, I go in with a gold glitter. I've forgotten the product name, but I will also list it down my description box. See how beautiful this bride is looking. Please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe to my video. Thank you to my returning subscriber for always returning back to watch my video. I really, really appreciate you. Compliment of the season. Bye.